St. Basil's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by a contribution from three donors. The first is Mrs. Marion Miller from New Westminster, British Columbia. In memory of G.F. Miller, for the repose of the souls of deceased family members, and in thanksgiving for blessings received. The second is Bessie Alexevich from Sudbury, Ontario, in memory of her husband John, and in thanksgiving for the televised daily mass. The third are the parishioners of St. Francis of Assisi Catholic Church in Tofield, Alberta, in appreciation of the televised daily mass. On behalf of everyone across Canada participating in this celebration, our most sincere thanks. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of God, the love of Christ, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. As we begin our celebration, let us recall that we are in the presence of the risen Christ, and that we do need his continuing mercy and forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Father, let your Spirit come upon us with power to fill us with his gifts. May he make our hearts pleasing to you and ready to do your will. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. A number of days after Paul had arrived in Jerusalem, some Jews from Asia stood up the crowd against Paul as he was leaving the temple. While they were trying to kill Paul, word came to the tribune of the cohort that all Jerusalem was in an uproar. Immediately, he took some soldiers and arrested Paul. Since the tribune wanted to find out what Paul was being accused of by the Jews, he released him the next day and ordered the chief priest and the entire council to meet. The tribune brought Paul down and had him stand before them. When Paul noticed that some were Sadducees and others were Pharisees, he called out into, in the council, Brothers, I am a Pharisee, a son of Pharisees. I am on trial concerning the hope of the resurrection of the dead. When he said this, a dissension began between the Pharisees and the Sadducees, and the assembly was divided. The Sadducees say that there is no resurrection or angel or spirit, but the Pharisees acknowledge all three. Then a great clamor arose, and certain scribes of the Pharisees group stood up and contended. We find nothing wrong with this man, what if a spirit or an angel has spoken to him? When the dissension became violent, the tribune, fearing that they would tear Paul to pieces, ordered the soldiers to go down, take him by force, and bring him into the barracks. That night, the Lord stood near him and said, Keep up your courage, for just as you have testified for me in Jerusalem, so you must bear witness also in Rome. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. my 
my Lord, I have no good apart from you. The Lord is my chosen portion and my cup. You hold my lot. Keep me be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. When the hour had come for him to pass from this world to the Father, Jesus looked up to heaven and said, I ask not only on behalf of these, but also on behalf of those who will believe in me through their word, that they may all be one. As you, Father, are in me and I am in you, may they also be in us so that the world may believe that you have sent me. The glory that you have given me, I have given them, so that they may be one as we are one, I in them and you in me, that they may be completely one, so that the world may know that you have sent me, and that you have loved them even as you have loved me. Father, I desire that those also whom you have given me may be with me where I am to see my glory which you have given me because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Righteous Father, the world does not know you, but I know you, and these know that you have sent me. I made your name known to them, and I will make it known so that the love with which you have loved me may be in them, and I in them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise. 